All right, now that we have our character exported from Blender into the Unity project folder, we now look at setting up the character. To do so, first find your project folder, find your project, and then click on the exported character. Then page down, and I'm just going to delete some of these things and add them back in because this is what it looks like before. Whoops. Okay. Now, for the animation wrap mode, I have default, I have split animations, and I need two different animations in here. So I'm going to hit the plus twice. The idle animation is going to be from frame 0 to 1. Okay. And the walk cycle is going to be t between 1 and 33. Okay, let's look at that back in Blender. So you can see from 0 to 1, there's nothing going on. So that's my idle for right now. And from 1 to 33, I have my walk cycle ending in 33 frames. Okay. Now, I want to make these loops. And I want to make sure animation compression is off. Then down below, make sure I hit apply to any changes. Okay, I already hit apply, so. And if if you don't think apply is turning on and off, just make a couple changes here and hit apply. And then go back and there we go. Perfect. So sometimes tweaking the settings and then hitting apply again, that works well. All right, now click and drag him up to the scene. Make sure he's larger than this. You can scale him to any size. It really doesn't matter. Size is kind of arbitrary right now because he's only a person in a scene with nothing else to move around. Okay, so there's my character. Now to test him out. First off, this is how I do it. I put it on idle first and then hit play. It should be stuck in the idle position. Then I uncheck play and put it into the walk position. Now there's two different walks here. One is the character controller and the other one is the actual character itself. So I use the character itself. And then I hit play and make sure the walk is there. Good. And it's looping. Perfect. Next, if I go down, you'll see that I have another thing that you probably might not have. It's called character controller, the folder. It's in my project. I got that by importing it in by going import package character controller. I use the third person character controller within Unity. It works out rather well. You can tweak it in many ways and you can add attack cycles later on. This is not a scripting class. It's an animation class. So for right now, we're just going to use the default uh, third person controller. So once you import that in, what we really want are the scripts. So here's the scripts. They're down below in the scripts folder. Click on your character. Make sure this is in focus and you could take and click and drag the scripts over. This is the controller script. Once I hit continue, these will not share a common bond. In other words, if I could change the wooden mannequin's attributes here, it will not change them up here anymore because it's a, not a prefab. So hit continue. And this is the pill. Okay, And the pill is what he collides with with the world. So we don't want him this big because he's not that fat. Here we want to lower the radius down quite a bit. And we want to lower the height down on this. Then we recenter it using Y here. Also, I want to make sure this is deadly accurate with the feet because what happens is this states where he lands in the world. In other words, you don't want his feet clipping outside the world. So sometimes you get lucky and this is perfect. Other times you have to control it by just typing it in, like point. Three eight, There we go. So that's pretty close right there. If I hit play, this is what he looks like. Okay, so he's way off in the middle of nowhere, and he's just walking. But I have no control over him right now. 
All right, next. At least he didn't crash through the floor because that's what that's what that test was meant to be. If I hit play and he went through the floor, I did that all wrong. Next. Here's my animations. Okay. On my character, I can page down below and I have two animations, walk and idle. I did they are there because I, I stipulated them to be there. Again, I stipulated those to be on there from here. Walk and idle. So here, here's my walk and idle. On this character, they want to know where those are at, the walk and idle. So here's idle. I middle, or no, left mouse drag. Left mouse drag. Walk and run are going to be the same for right now. Notice it says jump pose. This is a single frame. It must be a single frame. So I'm going to use the idle. This character cannot jump for right now. In fact, I'm going to uncheck can jump. That way he cannot jump. All right. Now, if I hit play, I can use WASD on the keyboard. And now look at he's walking towards the camera and away from the camera and from side to side so he can prance around all day long. His walk max animation speed is right here. So I can up that if I wanted to. If I uncheck play, I can change that number. Let's say I put it in three. Hit play. It's going to look kind of silly because now he can he struts. Okay. I always leave this at one by default. All right. Essentially, that's what we have so far. In the next video, I'm going to show you the third party or third person camera controller and how that works. All right. Meet you in that video.